for work from everyone, let's set up Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 4. So real quick, if you have accessibility requirements, just tap on the accessibility button and you can change any settings you need here. Then we'll tap on the blue button at the center. We will then need to select our region. So I'm from English United Kingdom. I'll tap on next. Then you'll see for your review, you must tap on I accept the end user license agreement. However, sending of diagnostic data is optional. Then from here, it will ask you to connect to your Wi-Fi network. If you've already inserted a SIM card into Z Flip 4, then this uh, option can be skipped. Then I'll tap on next. It's going to search for eSIM mobile plans. If you want to set up eSIM in Z Flip 4, just tap on scan carrier QR code and then place the QR code in the frame of the camera. Uh, I don't have eSIM, so I'll tap on skip and skip one more time. Now we see here, copy apps and data. I have a tutorial on how to transfer data from your old iPhone, Android or Samsung. So just check out the playlist in the description. Uh, you tap on next, follow the on-screen instructions or follow those videos down below. In my case, I'm going to tap on don't copy so I don't have a device to transfer data from. Now it's going to say checking information. So here, if there was Google lock or Samsung lock, you would be required to enter that details in. Now it wants me to sign into my Google account. I'd recommend if you don't have a Google account, you tap on create account because your Google account can also be used for your Samsung account. But on top of this, uh, in order to download apps, and do most features uh, on your Z Flip 4, you will need to enter in your Google account, so it definitely is recommended. And uh, once you've signed in, just scroll to the bottom, and I'm personally gonna tap on skip, because it wants me to add my phone number to my account. And I'll tap on, I agree. So if you are wondering, your phone number will still work if you skip that option, it just means Google won't be able to use your phone number. Now we have the Google services here. So you have backup to Google Drive. Uh, if you want that on, you can have it on. I'll personally have that off. Use location. I'm going to personally keep that one on. Allow scanning. This allows Google to know your exact location, even if Wi-Fi and Bluetooth is off, which is, you know, I don't want that one on, so I'll turn that one off. Send usage and diagnostic data. I'll keep that one off. And once you scroll to the very bottom, you can tap on accept. From here, it wants you to use your default search engine. I'll use Google. I'll tap on next. Now it says protect your phone. So we have face recognition. Keep in mind a picture can hold the face recognition in Z Flip 4. Fingerprint. No, some piece of paper can't hold a fingerprint. We have pattern, pin, and password. So I'll tap on fingerprints. Continue. It wants a, another lock here, pattern, pin, or password. I'll just select pattern. I'll enter my pattern once. I'll enter my pattern one more time. From here, now it says scan your fingerprint. So all you do is you tap the power button a bunch of times. Make sure you move your thumb or whatever finger you're using around. Okay, so I'm like going to all of the edges, etc. If you want to add another fingerprint, you can tap on add. We'll just tap on next like I am. Now it says access your assistant with Hey Google. So this is a voice command for the Google Assistant. I personally don't use the Google Assistant, so I'll tap on skip. Access your assistant without unlocking your device. If you use Google Assistant and you want it to be usable from the lock screen, tap on I agree. In my case, I'll tap on skip. Keep in mind, if you ever want to change those settings in the future, the settings app allows you to do that. Now it says review additional apps. So it has all of these Samsung apps here. Uh, I do recommend you download most of these. However, Spotify, LinkedIn, Microsoft Office, Outlook. I personally don't need those apps, so I won't install them, but everything else here looks good. So I'll tap on okay. And now it's gonna get my phone ready for use. And any moment now, we should be brought to the home screen. So it's going to say, please wait right now. I'm assuming it's just setting up everything required. It says get recommended apps. 
If you have a SIM card inserted and there are specific apps for that SIM card, uh, you'll be able to add those. Now, what's the Samsung account? So use your Google account earlier if you would like. I'm personally going to skip this, mainly because if I sign in, it will require two-factor authentication. Now, you have all these options, nearby device scanning, blah, blah, blah. So me personally, I turn off nearby device scanning, but every other option I keep on. I'll tap on I agree. You have the taking care of your phone. So really, it's just don't use your fingernail on the screen, don't rub it with your fingernail, and I don't emerge, you know, while well, putting dusty areas. So I'll tap on next, and there we go, we're good to go. So tap on finish, and you'll be brought to the home screen. I have a video on Z Flip full tips and tricks, I'll have it in the description, and a 30 or so minute tour on how to use the Z Flip 4, which is also in the description. With that being said, thanks for watching, see you guys later, bye bye.